two-year-old running brilliantly in this uh, just really getting to grips with this event now so Matthew Hudson Smith with George Caddick American based youngster we'll go through the whole list there well we'll go through them one by one in a second Martin Rooney right on the outside which is where we'll start so Martin's picked up a bit of an injury in uh, Hengelo he was due to run there he was ready to race there I think he was doing some he was telling me we're doing either some box work jumping up and down he'd hurt his knee and still really trying to get into the sort of form which if not an individual will at least put him in the relay squad now this young man here coached by James Hillier Cameron Chalmers massive talent his young brother is a great form to be the hurdling talent from Guernsey broke the Guernsey record recently Rabba Youssef a lot of experience and you expect him to perform well on days like today then we've got Dwayne Cowan what a performance from him at the world champion sorry the world the european team championships last week but that's meant he is now got the qualifying time as has matthew hudson smith and top two finish for those two men will put them in the team cowan 32 years of age the son of lloyd cowan most people know lloyd as one of our top coaches of course coach of christian O'Horrigo. and talking of coaches george caddick based in america at baylor university Clyde Hart, the great Clyde Hart, Michael Johnson's former coach, is looking after that six foot four talent. Then Theo Campbell, again one of our good youngsters, went to the World Relays earlier in the year as part of that relay team. And then on the inside, Jamal Roden Stevens from the Shaftesbury Club, under 47 seconds for the first time this year. On your mark. The qualifying time, 45.50. You have to also add in that although three men, Caddick, Hudson Smith, and Cowan have that time, Martin Rooney, as European champion, is considered also to be eligible were he to finish in the top two. So there are actually four men, if they finish in the top two, will get automatic selection. Men's 400 meters. Set. Well, that went off before the gun. <laughs> so it was a false start from the starter. <laughs> yeah, we've had a little bit of problem with that. Haven't we? I mean, even all right, they're all gathering around Colin now. Look, how many how many does it take to sort this out? This could be a little while. I, I just have a feeling this might be a little while. I don't think we're going to see a receipt this time, are we? Though, no, are we? no, no, he's, no, he's waiting patiently for one, but. Now, what that little bit of paper says, technical fault, or something like that. Well, they're all having a look at it. <laughs> Goodness me. How much can that piece of paper tell you? It's only a small piece of paper. Yeah. You'll, you'll never get that through the boss. No, will you agree? No, no, it's too much. Did you hear that? I didn't quite hear that. The green card. Well, it, 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 it could, the, the, the beep went off before the gun, so either he was, you know, leaving his blocks. It didn't look like that. It didn't uh, seem that way to mark. the naked eye. But anyway, it's a green card, but it was uh, only shown to Matthew Hudson Smith. You have, don't you have to show a green card to the whole field? There are degrees in this now, you know. Men's 400 meter final, then Hudson Smith settling down. George Caddick inside him, and then Dwayne Cowan, Rabbi Youssef, Cameron Chalmers, Martin Rooney on in lane eight. Set. This time away safely. Rabbi Youssef nicely, smartly out of the blocks. And those five men on the outside moving away from George Caddick, who's in lane three, who hasn't started as quickly as they have. Dwayne Cowan going well. Also, Young Chalmers has already gone past Martin Rooney, and Rooney will have to find something here. Hasn't got that speed through the first 200 meters. Hudson Smith also in a good position here. So it's Chalmers leading it. Hudson Smith will, as this bend unfurls, be right there. George Cadding is miles behind at the moment. Cowan trying to get back in, and Rooney's coming back, as is Rabbi Yusuf. But look at Matthew Hudson Smith. This is a really 
dominant performance from the local man, Rana Yusuf coming into second place, and so is Martin Rooney finishing quickly. But it's Matthew Hudson Smith. Yusuf gets the second spot, 45-02. That's more like it. He's been coming into some good form. He had to pull out of the Stockholm Diamond League with that back problem of his, but a good solid heat yesterday. A very dominant run today. Scraps for the others. Rabbi Yusuf getting second place, but the time for Rabbi Yusuf for me will be outside of the qualifying time. And uh, the other two who, or the three who had a chance, had they got in the top two, saw that slip by. But no doubt about our winner. He's the only one, Colin, who's guaranteed his place. That was a right royal battle, Steve, behind Matthew Hudson Smith. Once he hit that 300 meter mark, he looked so majestic. I completely took my eye off him because I presumed he was going to take the title. But behind, what a scrap. It changed most probably in the home straight, Steve, about three times between Martin Rooney, Yabba, and of course, Dwayne Cannon. Look at how it is. Look where Martin Rooney is. He seems to be out of this race completely. Dwayne Cowan seems like he's just going to edge it. Yabba's just hold on there, isn't he? To take the second place, he does that. But who's got that third spot? Wow, wow, wow. Well, Cowan throws himself over the line, but it's actually between Rooney and Chalmers, I think. Now, that's that angle always favours for us, the one nearest. And Rooney, being the smart old bloke that he is, throws that arm out, which, of course, pushes your torso forward. He's not silly, is he? No. I mean, that, that'll be... I mean, I think what that means is Rooney will be in the relay squad. Um, Chalmers is picked for the under-23s, and I was talking to James Hillier yesterday, I think, and he said that's his main target, and unless he qualifies automatically, I think that's what they would target. But wouldn't it be great for him to go as part of the relay squad? That'd be a fantastic experience, and I think he would certainly accept that. Yeah, just sitting around with the team, rubbing shoulders with them, getting the whole team experience, going around and sitting with some of the best athletes of all time will be in the village. So, yeah, no, it'll be great experience for him, but what a race. The 400 meters never lets you down, does it, for excitement. Brilliant, and look at Matthew Hudson Smith's time. Under 45 seconds, 44.99. I hope he's smiling. Um, Matt's always smiling, win or lose, but victory today, and you did it in style, Matt. Yeah, I just wanted to execute, really, and get um, just get qualification to London and go from there. There's so much strength in this event in, in, uh, in Britain these days, so just to come through the British yeah. uh, trials is one thing, but it must elevate you as well to think on, on a world stage now, the kind of performances you can put in and times in the 44s, yeah. you can challenge on the world stage too. Yeah, I mean, really and truly, I've only been doing this event for like two years. Um, just trying to do like what the guys like Rabo Rooney and the rec record holder, which is you and over there, <laughs> trying to emulate what they do and be the best I can be, really. Quick word from Rabo, you've made it as well. and. Again, you always seem to deliver the goods when it most matters. Well, uh, for me, it was um, I'm trying to come here and make the team, by right? Um, I've been struggling with injuries for the past, like, last year and early this year in the Bahamas. But I'm getting, getting back in shape, so I'm happy to make the team, by right? All I have to do is now and just go and get the standard, which I'm well capable of. We hope you do that. And, uh, One well thing, new hermeneutics. I'm so sorry, you know, it's been a um, crazy season for me. But I promise, if I'm available, I'm going to come and do a match for yours. Thanks, Thanks. Robert. Well, that'll please everyone in Newman Essex Beagles. Robert's a, a great character and he's uh, run pretty well there. 45.82, not quite getting down to that qualifying time he wants, but it was almost the season's best. But well done. I mean, Hudson Smith, very, very good indeed. 44.99. Chalmers held off Cowan, who threw himself over the line. That's surprising me a little bit, Martin Rooney. I said, well, it always favours us looking from this side, but the, certainly uh, those five men, George Caddick was the one who really didn't perform there, 46-62 for him in sixth place. But uh, lots to sort out.